didn't see you there. I'm going to tell you a little bit about St. Elizabeth Hospital. In 1855, Dorothy Dix convinced legislators that St. Elizabeth's Mental Hospital was needed. Congress received $100,000 for the construction of St. Elizabeth's Hospital. During the Civil War, the U.S. Army used the East Wing and the U.S. Navy used the West Wing. At the Hilton Hotel in Washington, D.C. on March 30, 1981, John Hinckley Jr. attempted to assassinate President Ronald Reagan in an effort to impress actress Jodie Foster, who he had an obsession with. Hinckley ended up critically wounding Reagan's press secretary, James Brady, in the right side of the head. A bullet bounced off the limo and hit Reagan in the chest. <laughs> At his trial, charged with 13 offenses, he was found not guilty by reason of insanity. When released by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, Hinckley was confined at St. Elizabeth's. In 1987, Hinckley applied for court order to allow home visits, but once his room was searched, they found photographs proving his ongoing obsession with Jody Foster, as well as letters between him and a serial killer. His request was denied. In 1999, Hinckley was allowed supervised visits with his parents until hospital employees found he was smuggling materials about Foster into the hospital. They were then taken away. In 2005, Hinckley was granted supervised visits with his parents. In 2011, Hinckley tried to live outside the hospital, but the court denied. In 2013, Hinckley was allowed eight seventeen day visits home. In 2014, James Brady, who Hinckley shot, died because of his wound. Go. When Hinckley found out about James Brady's death, he felt extremely bad for ruining his life and feels tremendous remorse. Now the West Wing is used by the headquarters of the United States Department of Homeland Security. The East Wing is still open and mental patients still use the facility and walk around the area of St. Elizabeth's Hospital. Fun fact, St. Elizabeth's Hospital is located in Southeast D.C. overlooking the Potomac River. At its peak in the 1950s, St. Elizabeth's Hospital housed over 8,000 patients. Yeah. Some other well-known patients over the years at St. Elizabeth's Hospital have been Richard Lawrence, who attempted to kill Andrew Jackson, and James Swan, who in 1993 was also known as the shotgun stalker who tried to kill people by shooting a shotgun out of his window driving through Washington, D.C.